Ningaloo dreaming. That's us. This coastline is just amazing. Yeah, it's incredibly dangerous. So even to for our, I suppose, level of experience and ability. I mean, you can see why they call this one of the last pristine major coral reef systems in the world. gotta walk up there because it's beautiful. You should see all the birds. Hey, look at this. This is just enormous. This is fossilized coral. Now, that was amazing because there was one whale, right? There was a three in a row, and then they dropped, and it was like, what do we do now? Because they were right in front. We could have just swam and seen them under the water. And then they went around and we were like, where are they? And one came behind us, one came up in front, and then one went between the two right underneath us. It was yeah. like, dude. And the one underneath us rolled on the side so you could see all the white. Yeah, you see all the white coming up under him. Coming back now, it's like coming into a graveyard. Uh, you know, uh, when I first came here in 1951, our quota here was 500 whales, right? And one year we got 600. But from the time a whale would hit the flensing deck, it took about nine hours for the whole process. And they all to be separated and pumped into these huge tanks we have at the back here. People pay a lot of money to see the whales. A lot of people have been talking about how much whales are worth more alive than dead. And to come back now, it's like walking into a graveyard. It's just a, a very lonely feeling. Nowhere, and it's just pumping. <laughs> we just happen to have surfboards in our boat. You don't hear that much about Ningaloo other than what you see in the surf night. Shot a, a Spanish mackerel and I've uh, heard how venomous and dangerous these Australian sea snakes were. I'm scared enough of the land based ones, so when one popped up behind me chasing me and my mackerel, I, <laughs> I high tailed it and jumped over the side of the gunnel. They were circling around and going over my head. In the end, I was in the middle of the Skillitra Valley and just floating, just drifting like weightlessly. That was that was the best thing so far. Oh, what a day! <laughs> Got a small little thing of bronzy follow us and try and nip our tail. There's stretches of this coastline that you're just out there on your own and uh, you know, you're in the hands of Mother Nature and, and that's, that's extreme stuff.